Hi everyone. At my work at the moment, lots of my grade one students are learning about Australian animals. And they've asked if I could teach them how to draw some. So today I'm going to draw, uh, teach you how to draw a picture of one of my favorite Australian animals, and that is a platypus. And a platypus is such a strange and unusual animal, and we're gonna have a go at drawing it now. So uh, let's get our pens ready. So we're gonna start um, maybe down in the corner here. I'm gonna start with his, um, his bill or his beak. Uh, and he has a bill like a duck. So uh, I'm gonna start with just a curved line like this. Now, after I've done that curved line, I'm now going to draw a line that comes out and around and back up. And that's going to be his, his duck bill. Um, I might just draw some little nostrils in there too. Um, maybe a little line at the end like that. It's almost like a little smiley face at the end. Now, at the top of his bill, I'm going to do like a... Um, it sort of attaches to his face. And I'm going to use um, a bit of a curly line. A wavy line. Something like that. And then, under this wavy line, I'm going to come down to about here. And I'm just going to curve a, a line around like that, just to make it look like he's got um, a bottom part of his mouth. Okay, now let's put in his head. So from this part of his beak over here on the side, I'm just going to draw a nice line that comes up around uh, something like this. Okay, for the top of his head. Um, I might even just put in some little, little spiky bits here. That's just gonna be sort of where the back of his head is, his neck is. Now, coming back to this part, I'm now going to give him a body. Uh, just a nice big curving line, something like that. And then I'm going to bring that line around even further. Well, I'm gonna run off my page, so I'm going to curl it around maybe like this, because he has a nice big fat tail. I'd say like a bit like a beaver. That's what helps him to swim. Um, next I'm going to maybe, I'm going to do the rest of his head, but before I do, I might just put a leg in. So, um, let's do a little curvy line like this, and then we'll do another curvy line like that behind it, and then I'm going to bring a line out to the side, and maybe this side, and I'm going to now do maybe three lines, one, two, three, and then I'm going to join those lines up with some curving lines because he has webbed feet, just like a duck. Okay, um, now I'm just going to join his head up to his sort of body here, something like that. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of a tummy in here just to continue that line. And before I go any further, I need to put his back leg on. So like this leg here, uh, I'm gonna do just a bit of a curvy line. It can come forwards or backs. Uh, maybe another sort of a curvy line like this. And now I'm going to bring those lines out to the side and maybe another three in the middle. And now I'm going to join those up with some curving lines to make it look like he's got webbed feet at the back. And now, just like this line was continuing here, I'm just going to continue that line to join up with his tail, something like that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna even put a few little ziggy lines here just to make it look like he's got a few little um, bits of fur on there. And next I'm just going to, uh, I might make it look like he's got a bit of a back leg, so I might just do, um, something like this, just to make it look like he's got a little leg at the back. I might do the same here actually, just to make it look like there's a back leg. And now all I'm missing is uh, I've got to give him an eye. So again, I'm just going to do a nice big circle here. Okay, then I'm going to do another circle on the inside. And then another little circle on the inside. And then I'm going to just color that inside circle in. 
just to leave the outside and the inside circle white, just to give him an eye like that. Um, I might even just give him a little eyebrow as well. Just like that. Okay, and there we have um, my little creature here, which is a platypus. So have a go, um, see if you can draw a platypus too, and have some fun with it. Good luck, and don't forget to color it in. Bye.